Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Mary Bicknell, and today we're going to talk about five blind spots and fears that you have that are in <clears throat> the middle that's, that's keeping you from every single thing that you want in your life. So stick around as you watch these videos, wherever you're watching them, whenever you're watching them, welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> and make sure you link up so that you can see what all five of them are. And just to get you started right here, you're going to notice, um, I put the very first one. So that way you can track along and won't miss out. And as we talk today about the very first biggest blind spot and is the fear of judgment. The fear of judgment is the thing that is holding you back from everything. And why do I know this? I've been doing this like oh, 20 plus years. And <clears throat> I want you just to ask yourself right now, how many times, and, and I want you to do this with a sense of love and curiosity, just about yourself. How many times have you stopped speaking up, raising your hand? How many times have you held back? How many times have you said maybe what your big amazing dream is or goal or desire in your life? And how many times have you said it? And then somebody was like, oh my God, I can't believe that's what you're How many times has that happened? And then what, what it caused you to do, hi Alexis, what it caused you to do is <clears throat> hold back, hold back. Can I get an amen? Can I get some love on that? And whether you're watching this now live or wherever you watch this, whenever you watch this, I want you to recognize this about yourself day to day to day to day. How many times do you step back? So these five blind spots and fears that women have, what happens is they erode, they chip away at our... <clears throat> They chip away at our, um, at our self-esteem. Thanks for the love. They chip away at our self-esteem. They chip away at our self-trust. They create more doubt. See, oftentimes, so often, these are the things that my clients say. These are the things that the women in my life say. They say, you know, I, I really doubt, am I good enough? Am I going to be able to? It's a lot of this imposter syndrome, a lot of this feeling like a fake, a lot of this feeling like a fraud. And part of the reason is this, because they're getting this judgment back. So it's not just the judgment of other people, Sally Sue, your sister, your mother-in-law and all of that, right? It becomes a, yes, so detrimental. It becomes like a habit a habit of self-distrust, a habit of self-betrayal, a habit of self-doubt, a habit of worrying about what other people think. So people come to me and they're like, I overthink it. I, I have paralysis of analysis or analysis of paralysis. I have low confidence. I, and then I say to them, what's your big dream? What's your big desire? What's your big goal? What's that thing that's inside your soul, inside your heart, inside your mind? And you know what happens is that they are fearful. They are fearful of even telling me, right? So for those of you who don't know me, Mary Bicknell, I was a psychotherapist. Now I'm a business coach for therapists and helpers in the world who want to have a coaching business. And I'm also the regret proof life coach that helps you recognize quit dicking around. Everything you want in life is waiting for you. And you have the power to create what you want without any regret. You know, it's okay for you to feel proud every single day. We think we're getting that judgment. Alexis says, yes, and it filters Yes. So we need to be able to shift this, right? We need to be able to shift how we're thinking. See, this is the thing I want you to get from me is that you're, and, and actually I've put in the comments somewhere and, and it's also right here. <clears throat> I put in the comments or in the description, wherever you're watching this, a um, free breakthrough workbook for you. 
a fear breakthrough workbook. And it's kind of going to walk you through this. Again, it's going to allow you to go about this without a lot of self judgment. I want you really self awareness, self awareness, because see what happens when we get triggered by that very first judgment, our thinking happens. Our thinking creates these feelings and creates these behaviors. Let me give you an example. So there's a few different triggers. One of them is situational. So let's just say that one of the things that you want to do in your life is write a book. I say write a book because a lot of people want to write a book, but let's just say it's like, you know, showing up and sharing whatever it in the, is with in the world. And it's under the guise of a book. It could be speaking. It could be whatever. And <clears throat> You start thinking, oh my God, who am I to do this? Do I know enough? Do I have enough to share? Am I going to make any money? Is anybody going to read this? You see, these are just thoughts in your head. These are just floating thoughts. See, your brain, it's just full of these thoughts. And part of it is habitual. Part of it is the blind spot of your fear of judgment is because it's been a habit, sister girls, for so damn long so damn long because ever since you were a tiny little girl somebody's been like be successful but not like too successful be bold but not too bold speak your truth but not like don't him or who do you think you are or mm, don't brag or or it, it puts them in the comments right whether you're watching it now or in the replay i'll comment to every single comment that you do it's like what are some of those messages that have created your fears of judgment. And see, sometimes these are blind spots. And why would I call them blind spots is because back to the thinking, it's just like, it's so habitual the way that you're thinking, you don't even see it anymore. You don't even see how you're thinking anymore. So what happens is you have these thoughts, then you have this feeling of self doubt, of anxiety, of worry, of overthinking, of paranoia, of fear, of... And what happens? Thoughts, feelings, behavior. Then you don't show up anymore. Then you're not writing that book. Then you're not standing on stages. Then you're not, you know what? You're, you're not being the full you. You're procrastinating. You're sabotaging yourself. And then what happens? Then you feel like shit. Then you're irritable. You're screaming at your kid. You're not having sex with your husband. You're not taking care of yourself. You're gaining weight. You're spending money. Can you see the cycle that happens? The cycle that happens. And it stems from that being so blind to your thinking that about your fear of judgment. Hey, look, I know that this is a heavy topic. My goal for you and for us, as women in the world, my goal is that you have a shift that happens. Even if that shift that happens is an aha moment, recognizing that maybe you do hold yourself back because of your fear of judgment, not just about other people, but of yourself. Let me give you another example. Um, look at this. You are my sunshine. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing these every day, every day. And so if you're watching the replay or you pick up this video somewhere as I post it, excuse me, make sure you track along, make sure you find the other four blind spots and fears that we're going to be talking about. Don't miss out on this. Excuse me. So it's not just your fear of other people judging you. Again, who do you think you are? All that stuff. It's we get to the point where we are just brutal with judging ourselves. Brutal. I mean, think about this. How often, how often are you just kicking yourself in the ass, beating yourself up, listening to that brain chatter, listening to that BS. How, like all the time. But the thing is, you probably aren't even aware of it. Again, it's that blind spot of not realizing that your fear of judgment has just turned into a habit also of you judging yourself. So how do we, how do we fix that? How do we change that? 
Yes. You, someone, I'm my own worst enemy. Yes. How many times do we feel like that? We're our own worst enemy. We don't even have our own backs anymore. So today, besides getting that fear breakthrough workbook where you can start judging, like how do I judge? So it's about judgment. It's about feelings. It's about, hi, Carrie. It's about expectations. It's about our attitude and it's about our reactions, right? Um, an occasional fear of leaving people behind that I love. Ah, oh, we're going to talk about that. That's another one of the fears in a couple of days, fear of success as a, one of the blind spots that we have. Like, what does that look like? We're going to go a little deep on that, Carrie. Thank you. But, um, hey, psh, psh, psh. so how do we fix this? How do we change this? How do we shift this? So today, besides getting the workbook and going through that, Ali, stop live, Facebook lives, video lives. Stop. This is what I want you to do today. Wonderful, beautiful woman in the world. I want you to recognize your triggers. Let me give these to you and I will give them to you every single, um, for the next four break blind spots. So we get triggered by mental, right? Our thinking. We get triggered physically. We get triggered situationally and we get triggered emotionally. So when I said, write that book or stand on stage, that's a situation, right? That could trigger a lot of people to be like, oh my God, what are they going to think about me? I'm wearing this shirt and they like Ugh. all of that. So today, today, I want you to give yourself grace, have your own back. Every day I want you to have that, but today specifically. And I want you to recognize, just even if you take a post-it, okay? I want you to, every time you have a thought that smells, that looks like, that feels like judgment, you're worried about the judgment of other people or you judging yourself, I want you to just put a little tick mark. Don't do anything more than that right now. I just want you to get into awareness. See, sometimes just recognizing it and just saying like, Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And before you know it, you have 30 hash marks at the end of the day is enough for you to just step back and start being in review of your thinking. See, the whole goal here is not to beat ourselves up. The whole goal here is to recognize, of course, we have thoughts. Our brain is designed to protect us. And so sometimes it really screws up. It screws up. See, you get to choose though. This is the beauty and this is the regret proof life. This is the whole thing of understanding the regret proof life, how to stop dicking around because everything's waiting for you. When you recognize you're actually so incredibly powerful that you get to choose, am I listening to that thought? Yes or no. Am I listening to this feeling? Well, I don't feel like working out today. I don't feel like eating right today. I don't feel like making that sales call. I don't feel, are you, are you choosing to listen to that? Are you choosing the behavior? See, it's so, you have so much more power and control over your life than you think you do because you've been in a habit of worrying about judgment, of worrying about what other people are going to think, of worrying about, of ass kicking yourself. So today, just today, start with every time, Ali, every time you have a judgmental thought about yourself or about worrying about what other people think, write it down. And then you can actually say to yourself, is this true? Is this something I want to choose to continue to live with? Ah, we have so much more over the next couple of days as we go through the other four fears and blind spots. I'm looking forward to seeing you leave your comments. If you're brave and bold enough to share what some of your fears are around judgment. I'm going to respond to everyone and I would love for you to use this space as a safe space, knowing that your fears about judgment and your blind spot about that, you know what? You're not alone. You're not alone. My job though is to help you shift that because you know what? Ah, you can have everything that you want in life. You can have the most incredible, big, bold life and biz live a regret proof life, feel good about yourself and proud every single day. And I'm here to support you doing that. I'll see you next time.